Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden, and today I got a really exciting episode with the squash plant. It's finally begun to form its female flowers. That's not these two right here, these are some two beautiful male flowers. And the female flowers are actually... Let's zoom you in. Notice right here at the base there's a tiny little flower right back there. Let's see if I can bring you closer. There we go. Look at that. You could see there's two beautiful female flowers forming. One right here and there's one up there. And you could see the difference between the female flower and the male flower. The male flower grows on this long stem and then grows upwards and it's nice and large and it really reaches up towards the light above the plant look at this this way the bees are attracted to it and it's able to pollinate it and bring the pollen down to the female flowers that are going to be opening up very soon and i just wanted to record when they first started forming so you could see for those that are interested in growing squashes indoors you could see what it looks like and what to expect and this way you could recognize a little bit better what a female flower is going to look like and then as this thing produces and gets nice and big for me I'll show you the difference between the male and the female flower and this way you'll know exactly how to pollinate also indoors and this thing was getting a little bit heavy so what I simply did was just tied one of these leaves to the base of the container here and it's really stabilized this plant as you see it's looking nice and straight even if I give it a good little shake look at that it continues to stay in place so there was actually no need to even tie a rope to the bit to the plant and upwards I don't really like how that looks I, I like a nice clean area to work in this way I can get my hands around I don't want any type of restrictions like that and look how beautiful these yellow flowers are it's so nice to be able to come in in the morning and see such nice little big flowers. And just for like a comparison, look at, look at how big this, this is right here. So this would go really nice as a garnish on a little dish that you're serving. And it's really delicious and sweet. And if you see right here, these are our male flowers and you could see that it's beginning to put on this yellow color here and that's an indication of that it, it's going to be coming close to opening up and blossoming like these flowers here and what I did basically because there's so many male flowers that are opening up before the female flowers I was really nervous about not having pollen or not having a male flower available for the female to pollinate so just in case what I did was I just came in here and I clipped off two of the male flowers that blossomed yesterday and I simply just saved the pollen in a little jar here and I closed it this way it doesn't get contaminated or nothing falls in it this way it's nice and clean and just in case if there's no male flowers going to be present at the moment since they op do open up before the females Look at that. Just in case, we'll have pollen red available. So in case you're growing indoors, this is a good little suggestion to do. And it doesn't really take much time. You just simply cut them in, cut this off. We could actually do it right now. This way I show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let me just grab a little pair of scissors. I don't seem to see them at the moment, so We'll come in here that's okay my hands are clean and you just want to come in and clip it and also keep my keep note that uh, it's a bit thorny so you want to be careful now to scratch yourself too much and here we are look at this nice beautiful male flower so what you could do is basically just come in and you would come in and peel the petals back so let's do that. Let's see if we could do this one handed. And then you would just peel that back basically, revealing the 
middle of the flower, which contains all of the pollen, right here basically. And this thing has a ton of pollen on it, so what you would basically do is when you come in, let's say this was the female flower, you'd come in, you would just brush it on the inside like that, and get the pollen all, all over. Or, but since I don't have any female flowers right now, I'm just going to eat that. Oh, it's really, really sweet and delicious. And I actually really enjoy it. So, we have our pollen saved. We have our female flowers forming. Soon they're going to be nice and big and ready to be pollinated. And I'll take you step by step how to do that. And I just wanted to show you what's going on with the squash plant for now. And it's being grown in a little glass glass jar using the hydroponic cracky system. If this is your first time seeing this. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. As always, I'll do my best to answer everything. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And share with some friends.